this is H.C. Bailey. And I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Second and Setsu 3! Since last time we made it back to Maya here, so let's bring the gunpowder to uh, Bon Voyage. Okay, how's it going? Uh, you sent us to get the gunpowder, dude? <laughs> I like the little emote he's got there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not kind of obvious with Kevin there because he uses fists for weapons, but if uh, you have, like, almost any other character, like Hawk in the lead, to, like, pull out his knives like, WHAT DID YOU SAY?! <laughs> I- you sent me through all that effort to get that gunpowder, like, but with Kevin, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, put him at fist point? I don't know, but... Sure, let's go! Why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? I don't know why I'm saying that lately. Alright, there it is! There's the Kingdom of First Santa! Yay! Yay! Ah. Oh. Nuts. Kinda overshot it. Guess he didn't compensate for the wind. Maybe the wind crystal broke. No. No, that was another game. Okay, well, now we gotta actually walk up to Fort Santa, so, uh, remember to take out the bats last if you can. Although they are pretty frail. There we go. Why do bats always have that, like, sonic wave attack in these types of games? You know? That's how they see in the dark. Oh, uh, I guess. But anyway, uh, to get around here, you just gotta go through these little whole tunnel things. I guess the moles were digging them or something. Oh, hey, it's that guy from the weapon shop back at, uh, Jad there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, he made another barrier. Oh, that was easy. Well, then, why didn't they do that the first time? Oh. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot about this part where he takes one of their birds, I guess. Oh, Tana, huh? We got more bad guys in this game. Not just one faction or legion of evil, we got multiple factions. Yep, pretty much one for each story path. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. Now remember this statue for later viewers. Uh, we're not going to use it on this path, but if you... I think, I'm not sure, I've never actually done this, but I think if you bought the gunpowder, that statue will do something else or something like that. Like, if you bought the gunpowder, uh, well, eventually you're gonna have to get known. Yeah, you will. You know, and I think... Oh, we got a Dream Seer! I knew that guy was the one to do that. Okay. Alright, how many of those do we got? Four! Alright, yeah. And we, we haven't used one. They're more useful towards the end of the game when you're in really long dungeons when you can't use an inn to manipulate night and day. Uh. So, for right now, no, no. I mean, the dungeons or areas, they're reasonably short enough to where you don't really have to worry about them. So. I wonder why they call them mole bears. Striped, not now. We're, we're busy playing. Playing with one of your five hour energy caps. I put that in a trash can, I think. <laughs> well, she found it. Yeah. That's gotta be like a choking hazard for her. How could you do that to her? It's because of the Atari net. <laughs> well, if you can't get the uh, nip, you know, take what you can get. A lot of these paths lead to dead ends that have no enemies, so that's why I'm not using them. And by the way, I was talking about the elemental days last time. Um, th one of the reasons why I chose this path, particularly for beginners, is so that way you mostly don't have to worry about that, because we don't have Angela or anyone who really cares about the elemental days. I mean, there's some situations where you might care about it, but and I'll mention them, but it's not very critical. So if you're playing yeah. with a melee party, you can pretty much ignore it. Are you saying something? No. Take out the gun last. There we go. Alright, looks like 
we made it. Oh, grabs a chest set. Mine herb. Oh, a rope. Okay, never mind. This is. The path down there leads to the other side of the bridge where we were, but the bridge is out now, so. Uh oh! Danger music! More bad guys. Let's take care of them. Yeah, if you uh, saw Duran's info, you would have known more, a bit more about this. Oh man, that must have really hurt in Salamando's day now. Oh, uh, yeah. Ow! I guess he didn't like having ice balls dropped on his head. Well, it's better than meteors. Yep. I like that little ghostly effect that he has there, whatever that was. Kind of like uh, Jade in Breath of Fire. How'd they open the gate like that? Hmm. Good question. Well, anyway. Yeah! Kick ass music! Alright. What do you mean, good? You want to kill all of them, the witches. Burn the witches! Burn them! He's one of those pacifist fighter type people. Alright, let's kick some ass and take names. We want to take out the wizards here first, or magicians, uh, because they got some annoying magic that so can deal some pretty good damage, so. It's like the same sprite for the uh, horse heads as those uh, guys in Soul Blazer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Whoa. I guess all these. Yeah, you see that rocket punch? That's what I was thinking that they were going to do in that boss fight there, but uh, no, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I, I thought that was. It must have been one of their cousins or something. Oh, uh, no, we're doing pretty good. I was going to say, do I need to heal? No. Down slowly. We can, uh, uh, what is it? There's a lot of different paths that you can take around here, but I'm not going to explore every single one of them, you know. I'll explore some of them, but not all of them. So, but I do want to try and find all the enemies around here at least. Yep. Still one more. I guess they like playing chess around here or something. How many of these guys are there? Where the hell are they? There's gotta be one more around here. There we go. Ha! Come on, kill him! Or her. Whatever. Hit. Oh. Yeah, you grab that. But Click on it on the opposite side of all those okays. Ah! Oh, we got a light coin out of it, though. Uh, light coin lets you use, uh, uh, I think Holy Ball, if I recall correctly. So, even if you don't have Angela. This is so much less stressful than hardcore mode in Diablo 2. Uh, yeah, one enemy at a time. Or, well, maybe not one enemy at a time, but not that many at a time. I don't know. I don't, th I don't know if I could ever get used to that in Diablo 2. I mean, I've never played it, but, you know, it seems like rushing that many enemies like that at once. It's, uh, it's only occasionally that happens. Hmm. The nastier enemies are usually so, like, end act bosses, and um, they're their own kind of challenge. I just, uh, I've had bad experiences in World of Warcraft sometimes with, uh, fighting too many enemies at once, like, MURLOCKS! Quit being a wussy. <laughs> Yeah, we might as well take out some of these guys. It's just a real quick room like that. Sure, I'll go ahead and do that. Why not? Man, we're getting a lot of treasure today. Yeah. Got some good stuff. Might not be a terrible idea to heal up Hawk, but we're almost done here anyway, so. Kill the wizard! Burn the witches! Maybe I can't kick those guys when they're ca channeling a spell. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little hard. The hitboxes are a little uh, off sometimes. Ooh. Treasure for you! I like Ooh. the uh, hitboxes on Ghast and uh, Minecraft. 
Um, hitboxes are like weird. I can shoot the same place damn near three times with an arrow and it, they'll all hit different spots or they might not all hit. Hmm. Red Lotus, huh? Wonder why they call him. Oh, she doesn't seem like a very reasonable queen. Oh, that's not a very good reason. Just conjure one up. Hmm. Indeed. Quit whining, Stripe. Quit whining. So you're just gonna sit on your ass while he's channeling a spell? Alright, let's take him on! We can get him. Oh, or not. You thought that was a real corn? Ha <laughs> It is. Uh, you're controlling the dialogue, I guess, because you hit him. Ah. Huh. Oh, for a second there, I thought I only had 50 HP. Oh, thanks for rescuing me, even though I wasn't doing anything to get out of his way. Oh no, not the fairy again! No! Take it away! I remember the fairy. It would never stop talking in my head. You do know Orcrino was released in 3D a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Dragon Emperor, huh? Yeah, I don't have a 3DS yet. I've been thinking about it, but, uh... I saw the 3DS in stores, and I don't know. I'm not impressed with the 3D in the system there. You'd be happy on a grayscale Game Boy. Well, that is true. The puke green color. <laughs> yeah, gotta have the green... Not grayscale, green scale. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I mean, on the 3DS, it, the graphics, aside from the weird 3D effect, which I don't think is that great, uh, you know, the graphics really don't seem that much better than uh, the DS itself. I'm hoping they still remake Virtual Boy Wario Land. Yeah, I've heard they're thinking about that. I really hope they do, but you know what I'm... But you know what I'm thinking about right now? It just reminded me of hmm. the fact that they canceled uh, what is it? Sino Blade for the Wii. Oh, and I bring yeah. it to the U.S. Yeah, that's not happening. Pisses me off. I was really looking forward to that. Okay, so uh, basically, what we got to do is we got to head on over to Palo to get the aid of the next Spirit of Wind at Palo. Next time, on let's play Second and Set Two Three. I'm H.C. Bailey. I'm J.B. Signing off. Have a good day.